everyone welcome back to another video so as you can tell by the title i am going to be showing you guys my disney bag collection but before i get into this i just kind of want to let you guys know that um brad who is my boyfriend if you guys don't know both of us have family members that are seriously ill so um i've been posting kind of inconsistently i mean i feel like this week i've been pretty good but some days it just gets really hard to try to focus on social media stuff because you have to like put on your best face and I never want to be like a Debbie Downer but honestly life's really not great at the moment for either of us so yeah I don't really I don't really know why I'm telling you guys I guess just because if you don't get videos from me or if you don't get content on Instagram or like any other social media platform for a little while just know that you know i'm going through some stuff i'm sure everybody is and we're taking literally everything day by day so yeah i'm just putting it out there that i may not be very consistent in the near future i just really want to be because it freaking sucks um and i really love doing this but obviously life comes first so anyway sorry for the little rant but let's just try to escape reality for a little bit and jump into these disney bags also i feel like you guys are like not gonna recognize me with straight hair this is like how long it is but yeah i never have my hair straightened so you guys let me know what you like but as you can tell it's already starting to curl and i literally just straightened it i straightened it this morning and now right before i started filming this so it's never gonna stay so if you like it you're probably not gonna get it more often <laughs> anyway let's let's get into the bags okay so first i'm gonna start with my stony clover collection which is my absolute favorite i love everything stony clover but especially the princess collection that they unfortunately just recently sold out of i think everything from that collection if not like majority of the items so let's start with my absolute favorite which is the small pouch this is the all over princess pattern and I got this when they did a 40% off sale. So I think I bought it for $64. I think it was $64. So I got this small pouch and then I also got a large pouch. Um, but this is just my absolute favorite Stony Clover item that I own. I like cannot get enough of it. I actually leave it up on my dresser like right in that spot um, because I just want to look at it every single day. So inside I just have some out of season headbands. These are both Christmas ones from Grumps. And then I just have my little, you know, kind of claw clips in here. I have three claw clips. And I could definitely still fit more in there, but I also don't want to like damage any of these bags. So yeah, this just sits up there, holds my clips and my out of season headbands. And I absolutely love it. Unfortunately, this is sold out, but I'm sure you could find it on like Mercari or Poshmark or, you know, one of those reseller websites. But if you can get anything from the All Over Princess collection, that's a win. So I think this was the cheapest, but yeah, if you can get any of it, I would highly recommend. I'm so obsessed with it. And then up next, I have the Countdown to Midnight, I think was the name of it. I don't think there's anything left of this collection on Stony Clover, um, but this is just the Cindy print, and this is the large pouch. I also got this one for, I think it was $64. They were the same price. Um, they were both 40% off. I think that this one was just as expensive, one, because it's the all-over print, but two, because it has the little ruffles on it. Um, but this one... I just really wanted something from Cindy's collection and I think she was the first princess fanny to sell out so I wasn't able to get my hands on any of the princess fannies which are the main item I was trying to collect so when I saw that they were doing 40% off I knew that I definitely needed a large pouch and I'm pretty sure the princess one was sold out or else I would have gotten it but yeah I'm so happy to have something from Cindy's collection and this holds eight pairs of ears, eight pairs of ears. Like that's amazing. And I currently have six in here because I have one on my head and another one is sitting on my bed just cause I didn't want it to look too overstuffed for this video. But yeah, you could comfortably fit eight in here to bring on a trip, which I don't think anyone would really need to bring eight pairs of ears on a trip. But if you wanted to, great pouch for this. It doesn't necessarily have to be the all over princess print and it also doesn't necessarily have to be Sony Clover. But any kind of a large pouch like this size I think is great for traveling with your ears. Alright, so now let's get into my fanny collection. So I'll start with my very first fanny that I got for Christmas. And it is the Grogu fanny, which I 
don't know if this is still available. If anything is still available, I will link it down below. But this is just the Grogu Fanny, and I asked for this one for Christmas. I didn't, well, let me rephrase that. I didn't actually ask for this one. I sent my mom my, like, favorite fannies, which was pretty much all the available princess ones. And then I also sent her this at the very end because I was like, you know, those colors are really cute. And I'm not a Star Wars fan at all. I've never even seen a full movie of any of them. I've only watched like half of the first one. But yeah, I just really love the colors of this. I think it's so pretty and it also just gives me an accessory to wear to Hollywood Studios. So I do really love this and this was the very first Stony Clover item ever that I ever got. And something special about this is that on the clasp it says Star Wars and then the other side just says Stony Clover Lane. So yes, very very cute. And I believe this might still be available and I believe that this retailed for 160 I'm not sure if it's still available I'll link it um, but you know Sony Clover prices are insane I mean the quality is amazing but you know the pricing is wild but yeah I really love this bag and she was my first Stone Clover fanny. That's really all I have to say about it. So let's move on to the next one. And then my very first princess fanny was Belle. And she is unfortunately sold out. I actually think every single princess fanny is gone. So just, you know, for the rest of this video, sold out for Stony Clover stuff. But I really, really love Belle. She is my second favorite princess after Rapunzel. So I knew that she needed to be my first. Even though the colors are not necessarily something I'd be able to pair every single day um, I just think it's so cute and like just look at all the detailing with like those little hearts and the roses Cogsworth got Mrs. Potts obviously Belle the mirror the enchanted rose like there's just so much going on here but it's also still just like I don't know I feel like it's not too loud but I feel like most people would say that it is I don't know I'm just obsessed with it I really really love this and I'm so happy that she was my first fanny and I believe that all the princess fannies retailed for the same price which were probably all around like 140 150 um, I just know the Star Wars one was a little bit more expensive I think it was like ten dollars more than all the princess fannies but yeah really really love her and I am so obsessed and then I believe the next fanny that I bought was my Ariel one. I'm pretty sure it was Ariel. Um, so this one was called Making Waves and this just has Ariel. It's hard for me to see in my viewfinder so I'm sorry. I think you got Sebastian, Flounder, there's like seaweed bubbles, a dinglehopper, fish. Like it's really really cute and the colors work really well I think and I honestly reach for this one the least. I think it's just because this blue is just kind of like neon like it's kind of hard to match but i do think that it's really cute and i would love to style this to wear to the premiere for little mermaid which comes out next month so that might be the first time that i wear this but i also just feel like this might be a really good summer bag i just need to like find some colors that are going to match this so that way i can style it but yes once again very cute and very obsessed and then i ordered these next two together but i will show you snow first so this is actually the one I probably reach for the most um, just because it's white and you know it's like the most neutral one that I have but this one just has snow it's got dock it's got her bow and her headband and apple um, and then you know like the little critters I don't know their names if they have names um, but yeah I think this one is really cute the one thing that I don't love about this bag though is the color yellow of her dress is just like so like overbearingly loud for me like obviously it's her dress and you would want to display it accurately but for some reason when I look at this instead of seeing white I just mostly see yellow and for some reason that kind of just like turns me away from this um, but it's still a really cute bag I just think that probably part of the problem for me is that Snow is like one of my least favorite princesses so yeah you're probably wondering well then why did you buy it I needed all of them all the ones I could get my hands on okay except for Jasmine. Not really sure why I didn't buy Jasmine. I think my collection was just getting too expensive and honestly I can't even remember the last time I've seen the movie. Like I know I've seen it but I just like don't remember it enough to even have any sort of connection with Jasmine. I'm sure if I watched it recently I would I would want it but I also felt like the colors were very similar to the Star Wars one because it was like a pink and purple fanny so I don't know I just didn't see myself styling it but I really wanted this one because it's white. But yeah, I'm very excited to finally start styling these once I eventually make it back to the parks. And then last but not least, honestly, 
besides Belle, you know what? This is tied with Belle. I really love Tiana. She's probably my third favorite princess. So that explains why I really love this bag. So it's kind of like a blue shade and then Tiana's dress is green and then like all the little other characters are green too. Um, I really love this because you got T, you got Ray, and then you have the frog version of Tiana, which is just, it's just so cute. And then also I did get the Ray patch, which my vision for this was to put him on the side. Um, so if I'm styling it like this, I'd probably put it on this side. So I'm picturing Ray to be like down here, just because he's not like the main character. So I don't want him front and center. I want him kind of off to the side, but I feel like that would be so cute. I just have to actually go ahead and pack. Sorry, my battery died. So I think what I was saying is that I just have to go ahead and actually patch this. And I think this will look so cute once it's done. And I really can't wait to style this sometime next year when Tiana's Bayou Adventure finally opens. I would love to do a whole Tiana bound and wear this and I just think it would be such a slight. So yeah, that's it for my princess fannies. Actually, that's it for all of the Stony Clover today. So let's move on to lounge fly. So my very first lounge fly was my pink rose gold sequin one, which I bought in July of last year. I did do an entire trip of vlogs, which again, if you haven't seen them, I will link it up above, just saying. But yeah, I also did a very huge $600 Disney trip haul, which again, I will also link. Um, where I featured this for the very first time and to be honest I don't think I've even touched it since that video which makes me sad because it's really really cute but I just like honestly guys I don't have much of a life besides going to my parents like literally every day sometimes multiple times a day so I just really grab for my one solid purse which I'll show you soon but I really love this and I feel like it's just it's just meant to be worn in Orlando for me. Like, I just can't imagine myself walking around Jersey wearing this. You know what I mean? Am I, am I crazy? I don't know. But I do think it's really, really cute. And I would love to style this more. But I just, like, don't have that much pink. Even though pink, especially rose gold and light pink, are my favorite colors. So I don't know why I don't have more clothing in that. But, yeah, I feel like I just don't have enough apparel to really style this with. But now it's getting warmer, so I definitely want to start doing photo shoots outside soon. And I plan on trying to style all of these accessories, all of the outfits, everything that I've acquired from purchasing from small shops, just things that I've acquired since I started my account. So I'm really excited to get out and start styling things so they can actually get some use. But this was $98. I bought it in World of Disney. I do really love it. I unfortunately just don't really use it. My back is starting to hurt sitting in this position. Um, also, what do we think of this new setup? I literally just have my camera propped in front of my window and all the natural lighting is just really working for me. And this setup is so much more simpler than like, you know, staging the whole thing with my bed. Cause I don't know if you can tell, but I have a cat tree over here that I use to like support my, my tripod. And it just like, doesn't feel right. I really like this. I don't know if I love the background, but I really like the lighting. So let me know your thoughts in the comments. But anyway, let's move on to my next lounge fly, which is my Punzi lounge fly, which I got for Christmas from Michaela. And I'm obsessed with this. I'm almost like scared to use it because of the cream color. Like I do not want to damage this at all. Um, but this just has Punzi and Pascal on the front, her looking out her tower window. So this I got from one of my friends. She's actually like a mutual friend to my friend. You guys haven't met her. Oh yes, you have, Abby. She was in my Disneyland vlogs because she lives in California. So one of her friends that lives here, when she came here to visit, like we usually go pot painting together, and she kindly found this and sent this to me, which I thought was so sweet. So it's just this little keychain. It's got the sun in there. It's got some other little like flowers and stuff. You can like shake it up and it's really cute. But yeah, I just thought that this was perfect for this bag and my key ring is very overloaded, so I wasn't gonna put it on there. But I feel like this just looks so cute. I'm obsessed with this bag and I can't wait to bring it to the parks and finally use it. And then also the back just says, I want to see the world and not just through a window. So precious, I love it. And then I'll also show you guys what the inside looks like. So this is actually the Tangled 10 year anniversary bag. So that's kind of the print that we got going on inside, which is just so freaking cute. I'm obsessed. My biggest thing with lounge flies though is that they're just too small because, let me show you my water bottle, which you've probably already seen. But this is my water bottle, and then these are lounge flies. Actually, wait, would that fit? This is a 40 ounce hydro flask. Let me see if that would fit in here because I feel like I've tried this before and it didn't, but just holding it up, it looked like it would. No. So it like literally just barely fits. I don't think I'd be able to get it closed though. 
I could get it like that, but to be honest, I've gotten to a point where I've stopped carrying water bottles around the parks with me, and I really actually enjoy going with just my fanny. That's what I did last time, and it just like takes so much pressure off my back and so much weight off me, and then I just get water at like the quick service places and stuff. But yeah, actually, I think you could fit a 40 ounce hydro flask in here if you really wanted to, which is pretty good to know. Um, but yes, I do really love this bag, and I thought that this was like the sweetest Christmas present, especially because I had seen this one before, but like it never crosses my mind to actually purchase lounge flies, except for the one rose gold one that I have. So I just felt like this was like the sweetest gift ever, and I'm obsessed with it. And I believe she got this from Box Lunch. I think this was a box lunch exclusive, but once again, if I can find it, I will link it, but your best bet is to probably just find it on like Poshmark, Mercari, and stuff like that. And then up next is my everyday, my go-to purse. This is my Dooney in the Sketch All Over Crossbody, I think is the name of this. I'm pretty sure this is still on Shop Disney. This has been around for like three or four years. Honestly, this has been around a long time, but I like can't even explain to you why I'm so like emotionally attached to this bag. I think it's because, so Brad's brother lives in Florida. They are the people that we usually go and stay with when we go. Um, actually, they are the only people that we stay with when we go. And then if I go with my friends, we'll usually stay on property. But I think that I saw this for the first time on maybe one of our first trips down there to go see them um, when they had first moved to Florida. So I feel like I've just had my eye on this bag for so long and I finally bought it in 2021. And I don't know, I think that trip was just such a good trip. And, you know, getting a discount on this made me really excited. This is my first, like, big girl luxury bag purchase. I don't know if Doonies are really considered luxury, but they are to me because they're expensive. And I'm not really a purse girl, to be honest. So I just was so excited when I finally got this. And I really do use it all the time. Like, I'll show you guys the inside, even though it's not that exciting. Pretty much just have Tom's hand sanitizer, gum, and Advil in here because... Those are my necessities that I need all the time, especially the Tums. But yeah, this is a pretty deep purse. The inside is just red and I love this. It has like all of my favorite characters on it and just the white with the rainbow, like, ugh, it's just, I know it's loud, but it's stunning. Like, I just love it. And I also love that I got to hand pick this one in Happily, no, Ever After Co, Jewelry Co. Ever After Jewelry Co at Disney Springs. I always like say that name wrong. Um, but I picked this one specifically because it had the castle front and center, whereas the other ones kind of had the castle like up here behind the zipper. So if you do really want this bag, I would say to get this at the parks if you can, just because you'll be able to actually pick the exact print that you're going to get. Whereas if you order this online, you don't really get a choice. But yeah, I really, really love this bag. And do I dare say it's my favorite? No, but I will say that it is my most used. I believe that it is $228 online and I got it with an annual pass discount in 2021. So I think I got it for like 160 something, but I can't remember how much it was before, but I feel like 228 is like more expensive to me now. So I'm not really sure, but like I said, I will link this down below if I can find it and I love it. And then up next is a bag that you guys have probably already seen before on my channel because I don't shut up about it. And that is my 50th Canvas Starbucks Magic Kingdom tote. Honestly, I think it's still available in the Starbucks and Magic Kingdom. And I remember seeing this for the first time online. Um, was it back in 2020? Was it like right before the parks closed, right after the parks closed? Whenever they started like the 50th celebrations, I know that like I wanted this bag so badly and I actually had people that were in the parks like check for me and no one could ever find it. And so I kind of just gave up hope on it because I wasn't buying it from a reseller for like over $50. Like I just, it just didn't seem worth it to me. And then when I was on my trip in December, I found this at the Starbucks and I was so excited because I thought it was sold out and they weren't restocking and honestly i wish i bought like two or three because i would love to have another one for when this one gets you know to a point where i can't use it anymore and then also i feel like one for a giveaway would have been a good idea but i wasn't thinking about it in the moment but anyway i really love this one because of the gold and like this like magenta color and all of the little icons you know significant to magic kingdom and of course we got punzi on here and the trash can is pretty funny too I just love this and also Tron has a little icon on here which is pretty cool considering it just barely opened actually it opened after no before the 50th celebrations were over regardless I just really love this bag and I use this as my gym bag which is almost every single day so this bag gets used a lot and I am obsessed with it 
honestly, I have so many favorites, so I can't tell you guys which one's my actual favorite, but I will say that this one probably gets used the most because this is my daily gym bag and then the other one, my Dooney, is my daily purse. I can't remember how much this one was in the parks. I know I spent $90 in that Starbucks that day because I bought my mom the 50th like insulated kind of mug that she can use for her coffee and then I got this one for myself on top of a coffee for me, a drink for Brad, breakfast for both of us so it was just an expensive day at Starbucks. So I don't remember exactly how much this one was. I want to say like 25 to 30. I don't think I would have spent more than that on this. And if you can't find this in the parks, honestly, I I would say depending on what your budget is and how much you really love it, it might be worth it to get from a reseller because it's just such good quality. It's so freaking cute. It's one of a kind really like Disney hasn't released something like this as far as I've seen like ever. And I just feel like they really hit the nail on the head with this one because their merch can be just like not great so yeah i would really really recommend this one if you're a canvas tote girly and let me just shut up and stop talking about this one and move on to the next one okay so up next these are not as exciting these are the reusable bags that i bought on my trip in july um these are just the 50th anniversary reusable bags which mm, they should be getting regular use like when i go to the grocery store and stuff but to be honest, they stay in my car. And when I go grocery shopping, I go with Brad in his car. So these just really never get used. But I picked up the big one, just says Walt Disney 50 on that side. And then this side, same thing, just, you know, the big 50th logo. And I believe that this one was $3 or like $3.50, something like that. And then we have the medium sized one, which this one was my favorite because of the logo on this side. I just thought Megan Min were so freaking cute. And then when I got this one, I was like, well, I need all three of them now, especially because they're so cheap. It's just like, why not? And so this is the back of this one. This one has the castle on it. So this one's definitely my favorite. It's really, really cute. And then the side has the Walt Disney World 50th logo. And I feel like you just can't go wrong with any of these reusable bags because they're so cheap. They're like $3 and under. Um, unfortunately, I don't think you can buy them anymore. And I got mine like all different places throughout the parks. But if you can find some sort of Disney reusable bag, I think that they're worth it personally. And then the last reusable bag that I have is the small one. This one was probably like $1.50, $2, something like that. Um, but this one's really cute because it has my girl Tink on there. And again, that little iridescent logo. And then on the back, this one's pretty interesting because it has the castle made up of all the character icons which I feel like is pretty cool and not something I've seen on anything else. So I feel like this is a pretty unique bag to have as well, but I feel like this is probably pretty good if you go for like, you know, to like a drugstore or somewhere small where you just need a little bag to carry with you or even as like a lunch bag to work. I don't know, it's not insulated or anything, but yeah, really cute and love my reusable bags. What am I doing? Okay, and then last but not least is a bag that I got this week and I have been eyeing it up for so long but I just never thought that I would need it. But my cousin's getting married and then Hannah is getting married in September. So I felt like I was gonna use it and I just, I saw it on sale and I just, I couldn't resist. And that is the Happily Ever After bag from Francesca's. And this is just completely sequined. It's not sequins. Oh, I feel like I should know what these are called. I feel stupid. But these are just like, like little pearls embellished. Like, what do you call this? You guys, you're free to make fun of me. I don't know what this is called. Um, but I'm just obsessed with this bag. I love the neutral color of it. And then on the inside, it's not going to hold too, too much, but obviously it's perfect for a wedding. So you have a little pocket in the back and then, you know, your deeper pocket, which is good to hold like your phone, keys, all the, the good things that you need for a wedding. So it just took the gold chain out and then it's got like a little clasp right there. Still need to take the tag off of this too. And then the gold chain is very, very dainty. And I just feel like this is perfect because it's going to go with any dress. Literally, this is good for a bride. It's good for a bridesmaid, maid of honor, which I'm a maid of honor, both weddings, just FYI. But anyway, that's another reason why I felt like I really needed this because I'm probably gonna be carrying stuff for my cousin, stuff for Hannah. Just wanna have it in my bag so that way they don't have to worry about carrying anything. And I think that this is just such a nice, subtle touch of Disney, even though it's technically not, but you guys know how much I love Happily Ever After, so. I'm obsessed with this bag. I did get it on sale this week for, I think it's originally like $54 and I think I got it on sale for like 25. Like I got a really good sale price on this and I just picked it up in store because I don't think it was available in store and I wasn't paying for shipping. So yeah, 
very very cute love this and i think that this is a great wedding bag if you're a bride or if you're going to a wedding okay and then that is it that is all i have for my disney bag collection i feel like it's not too too many bags like i definitely want to collect more in the future um i just want to make sure that they're going to be good practical bags that i'm actually going to use um, but I do really love my collection, so I hope you guys do too. Let me know in the comments which bag is your favorite, and, you know, like I said, life is rough for me, so if you guys are going through something as well, I am sending you guys good vibes, love, positivity, all that stuff, and, you know, we'll get through this together, whatever you're facing. Just filming this video just took my mind off of everything, and that was really nice to just, like, get away from everything for a little bit and now I'm gonna go sit down and edit this and then that way you guys will have this video up for Friday and yeah I really just want to say that I appreciate every single one of you that take the time to sit through my videos and spend the time with me because YouTube videos are my favorite thing social media wise to create so I'm just really thankful for all of you that sit here and watch videos with me and hang out with me and all that stuff and I love you guys be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it make sure to tap the bell icon and subscribe so that you don't miss when I post which is every Friday and I will see you real soon bye